You know who just followed me on TikTok? Yeah. Who? Adam Hicks. Who's that? The nigga from Lemonade Mouth. Oh, the one who said, just got out of jail. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Adam Hicks. They officially let your boy out of jail. Your boy is officially out of jail. Somebody give him his lemonade. He actually ate though. So when I'm talking, if anything that I said offends you, just know that I'm into. Who would have known it got so hot when I dropped? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. She got this through and I keep playing those videos in the background. I'm going to have to pound you. Let's take this overboard now. I want you to feel that heat. And we can arrive the book and share that heat of love. I want to ride. coming at you live with another video BAB I'm actually doing a wig to get ready for to make a video but I was like might as well show you guys me doing a wig you know what I mean as you guys can see my hair is looking like a, a little bit like pubes but it's like it's growing out see them uh, don't play with me I'm not one of them I'm going to get my hair braided eventually um, wait can you get braided with that um, hair yeah I have a video on my TikTok I'll show you damn You look good. You look good with braids. Oh, you look good with braids. <laughs> I braided my hair when I had like no hair when I went to Kenya. Okay. But it was like I was a laughing stock. Like it was like I can hear you talking about me in Kikuyu. Like I right. can hear you. They're laughing at the fact that like this girl's really crazy for thinking this could actually work. They were braiding my hair, and by the time they got to the end of the braid, it would disconnect from my head. But when I go to Africa again, I don't want to hear any laughs. You see the ting them? It's growing. You must be done. It must be done for girls beauty. What? He had a hot take, he didn't know where to insert it. No, another hot take I have is that girls get ready 10 hours to do one little thing. The other day, I went out, two hours traffic, came back, she was not ready. Yeah. Four hours, and then I came back, it took her five hours. But look what I did. No, but five hours. Yeah. 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 Like, I that's have that like, issue. Me, this is so stupid, but that's like me. This is the horse hair of the evening. That actually looks like a horse's butt, like the hair coming from his butt. <laughs> First of all, the horse does not, the hair doesn't have a butt, it has a tail. It's right? above its butt, right above the booty hole. Oh so when they shit, they're shitting on the hair. I don't really know what horse poop smells like. I've seen a horse poop because when I went to Jamaica, we rode horse, horses. We went in the water. The horse is damn near swimming while you're on its back. <laughs> so the water's going up to your waist. Mm -hmm. You're riding the horse. Whoever's in front of you, I remember it was like Louie or Bosch or something, one of my friends, in front of me, who, their horse is pooping, and the beach water is just taking it right back to me. My horse sees poop, starts pooping. It's like a chain reaction. The person who like is controlling all the horses, he starts to go, get up, come on, come on, come on. He starts signaling the horses to go crazy, and then they also go, Hurr! One of my friends got thrown off her horse into the ocean. No way. It was Basha. <laughs> Basha came off the horse? Flew off the horse into the ocean. I literally said, so the horse ditched her in, in the beach? Yeah. Oh, damn. But is telling me that I should really try to find a place to stay because she's trying to have me have dinner with a couple different companies. I hate when a company takes you somewhere and then doesn't accommodate for you. I hate when they do that. Like, if you want to have dinner with me, just organize everything, make it yeah. smooth. And you know what some companies do, right? They take influencers out and don't even acknowledge the influencers. It's not that I'm entitled to, but it's just like, at least you got me out here. There's no accommodation, there's nothing, there's no welcome. There's no way that I had to literally beg you to accommodate me. Oh my god. Beg? beg? What am I? Am I a slave? I'm sure these white critters are not begging. They're, They're not just begging. begging. Yeah. And the, and the crazy thing is, when we go to like events and stuff, the white people are and he's talking about, I have to go here, I have to go here. Oh yeah, they go here, I have to go so here. Many things. Booked and busy. But then you have people like me and Mela who actually came solely for work. Other than that, we would not have been there. And you mm -hmm. don't say anything to us. They were like, why? You should never have to go to that. I said, babe, I know. No, and then people online are like, if you guys feel that way, you guys should stop fucking doing it then. Oh, but how am I supposed to make so my money? So why do you to pay my fucking money? I'm not gonna make my money. <laughs> I feel like we should do like a story time. Ow, just burn my face. Hey, shh. Woo! The pressure's getting worse. Guys, a coffee's gonna try to fix this camera for me. So just ignore the. The lighting and the positioning. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the lighting's gonna change so much compared to the beginning of the year. I'm trying to be extra so you can get good lighting. Thing like, well, that might be busted. Oh, yeah, the camera. Okay, now, yeah. Lights, camera, action. LA is good. There's great people. You have to find your people. If not, 
LA will make you feel like you're crazy, you are psycho, and you need medication. LA, escape while you can. When I first moved to LA, I thought this place was just odd, just because everybody's worried about their status, where yes. they stand, in relation to others. I mean, you could see mm. the two-facedness in some people. I go to a party to have a good time. If I'm gonna go to a party, I'm gonna go take some yash. I'm not gonna pay for an Uber, go to a party, sit at the party, be with the people, come pay for another Uber to go home just to not have a good time. Like to say, to do mm. all that just to feel like I didn't have a good time is such a waste for me and that's what happens all the time in LA. I feel like I'm alone on that point a lot and then a coffee came, a coffee's from the UK. Layla took him to a party and the party gave him the same vibes that it gave me. Mm. Normally there is no fucking music playing. Oh my god. Yeah. And the lights are on. Oh no. Yeah. How am I able to hear you right now? Like why am I probably having an entire 40 minute conversation with you at a fucking party? I'm so used to parties that to hear each other. I literally be like, I can't hear you in here. I gotta go outside. We go outside. We tell each other whatever we gotta tell each other and come back in. Here? I was excited to go to that. I was like, oh, influencing. Oh, this is something. You were so excited. I was so excited. Walked in, he looked so fucking confused. He was like, wait a fucking second. Yeah. My expectations were very high. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be amazing. It's LA. It was the complete opposite. It was like, why are you here? I copy. Because you were not sucking their fucking dick through a straw. If you don't run around acting like a fucking monkey, they're not going to speak to you. When I walk into these events, I see so many of my black rituals. Play monkey see monkey do. It's embarrassing. And Stacey doesn't entertain it. Stacey does not even. Stacey will look at them like, what are you fucking doing? And so they blatantly ignore her when she walks into the room. They don't say hi to me. They don't do nothing. Why? Because she's not acting like the nigger that she is. I don't mm. give a fuck. I was not a monkey. I'm I refuse. No. People are like, you need to distance yourself mm -hmm. because they are there to suck your soul, suck your energy. They take everything that we fucking do and yeah. they get all the credit for it. I literally had to break it down to my new manager. I said, before you sign me, I want you to know that I'm not going to be as easily marketable because yeah. I'm hijabi, because I'm black. I remember the Pete, like, Black History Month came around the time of police brutality. Yeah. yeah. Black Lives Matter movement. So now companies were like, let's give the blackies money. Let's yeah. show that we care about <laughs> the blackies. Let's show that we are standing with police them. Police brutality has been moved. Nobody's talking about it no more. Because now it's they, not a trend. They, it's not a trend. They based anymore. everything on a trend. Yeah, exactly. They said they did what they had to and do. And it's selling. It's marketing. It's business. Black it's History Month. Oh my God. Brands be sucking our toes. Shit. They were so nice to us. They were so nice to us. Literally, events were being brought to events to talk, to talk about this. All of a sudden, is police brutality over? Yeah. Still fucking police are still brutal. It's, yeah. it's really sad that we have to know all of this and take this experience and try to do something about it. Like, that's what they said. When you're you know black, you work know. 10 times harder than someone who's yeah. not black. That's why I don't go to therapy. I just trauma dump online. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, my camera died, but I signed up for therapy and then I talked to the woman for like an hour. I came with like points. You're not about to charge me per hour and we're not gonna get to the point. Get to the point. No, we came here for a reason. Mm -hmm. Let's deep this line. I told her everything. I was like, I went through this, 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 and this, and now I'm feeling this. I scheduled the appointments with her, hung up the phone, called maybe 10 minutes later, spoke to the receptionist, and told her to cancel those appointments. <laughs> I told her that I'm never coming back. What, um, what made you thing. decide absolutely fucking not? I just felt like I overshared. But that's why literally what you're supposed to do with the therapy. Like maybe in a friend group, like yeah, I understand. Like when I go out sometimes and I run my fucking mouth and I come home and I'm like, nobody needed to fucking know that. But it's like with a therapist, bitch, I'm paying you to figure out what is wrong with my brain. I'm paying you to make me feel better. So now I'm going to trauma them on you like fucking crazy because that is what I hired you for. Mm -hmm. I know that's their job. I just felt like I overshared with her. Okay. So then I just, I never went back and I just told myself that really God is my therapist and I'm going to keep praying about these things. Yes, me too. You still need to. Get the things off of your chest. You know what? My reasons for going to therapy are not that deep when I think about it. It's like I got my heart broken. I'm pretty sure God could fix that. Yeah, God is gonna fix you know that. What I, mean? what is it? I realized at the end of the day, that nigga is a human being just like me. Whoever it was that broke your heart or my heart or whoever's fucking heart, they are a person and they can make mistakes and I just happen to be the person that they made the fucking mistake with. You go do what the fuck. You need to fucking do to fix it yourself because clearly you are mentally fucking deranged. Yeah. No, me, clearly. Thank you. Yeah, me, I'm going to go pray and I'm yeah, going to go about my fucking day. Like, that's how I moved past that. No, but once you come to the realization that do they feel the same way that we feel? Mm -hmm. No, they do not. Yeah. They are literally going out. Sorry to break it to you, babe. So you go out and do the same thing. He's probably out with bitches. Then go find something to fucking do. Stop thinking about that nigga. Like, <laughs> like this is such a minuscule problem in my life. I'm only 21. Like, why am I bugging about this right now? Mm -hmm. I'm like an emotional. Like, I know, I know you're a fucked up person. I know you, you cheated on everybody else before me. So what made me different? Yeah. Come on. I knew you're about to. Do, I knew the thing is. You know what's crazy? 
I knew he was going to cheat on me. Like, did it to everybody else before me and everybody in the whole entire city. It's mm -hmm. looking at me like, who would a fucking fool? Because they're like, Stacey, what are you doing? And then still, that, you're sick. Oh yeah, there's also a part of me that's like, you know what? Yeah, in that moment, I've learned to love like, this person. Yeah, I'm gonna love him. Like, you know like, what the best part is though? Uh, but in that moment, you're not dumb. I feel like yeah. every, when everybody's in the situation or in the moment, mm -hmm. it's like looking outside now. It's like, oh shit, I was dumb. Yeah. No, really. I was dumb. Like, like in the moment, I was like, oh, what the fuck? Why did he do that? What? A long ass amount of time later, I'm realizing I was a fucking stupid bitch. Guys, this is what it is. On my for you page, I saw this girl who was holding flowers. And the caption was, I got flowers because he cheated on me. Somebody in the comment section said, it's like a reward. Yeah. And you don't think I got flowers? I got Are you rewarding me? Yeah, it's a reward for mental stability. And you never mental know. Stability. Good job. You're strong enough to bear with me. Mind you, this is the only flower this man has ever gotten me. So when you really deep it, when you really think about it, it's like, would you have rather he cheated? In my head, it's like at least he had the decency to, to text me. He texted me a nice pair. Actually, that's the best he's ever articulated himself. He texted me a nice little paragraph saying how he doesn't think he could do it. And like, Stacey, the, like can you hear yourself? Yeah, do you hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving me a breadcrumb, is what you're saying. Thank you for doing even below the bare minimum. He no. didn't say anything nice. Like, it's still like, you're still a fucked up human being for doing mm -hmm. what you did. I, Loki, I wish you I wish you told me this before you did it. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then for you to do it on a, on, guys, fans, fans coming to me as a woman. Hey girl, like, I love your videos, like, you changed my life, you're an inspiration, da 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 I just wanted to let you know I'm messing with your man. Oh! What? You and my man, you and him, <laughs> you and him together can just go. <laughs> Go far away, please. First of all, why yeah, did you man. even start with, hey, I love your videos? Bitch, break the news to me and fucking go. <laughs> no, but I feel like the people that do that over text, I feel like they are, they're very sick. Like, they're pussies. If you're gonna do it over text, you're a pussy for that. Bitch. But like, I don't get the, why are you coming to me as a woman after you already did it? Now you try, now, now you got morals from where? Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Hey girl, just wanted to let you know, now you, 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 you followed me on Instagram. You, you commented on some of my pictures. You, 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 yeah. you, 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 you. <laughs> and then you went there, haha. Uh -huh. You went to his bando, you did what you did. And you probably had this conversation of, Stacy, like, well, how about Stacy though? How about Stacy, how about Stacy? Yeah. And then you still did it, and then you decided after the fact to come and tell me. Coming what? to you as a woman is fucking crazy. What do you mean you're coming to me as a woman if you knew we were together? You are not a woman. Next time, come to me as a dog. How the fuck? No, really. If you really think about it, how is that coming to me as a woman? You fucked somebody who you knew was my fucking man. Instead, you should have just been like, ha ha, bitch, I fucked your man. Yeah, no, don't. I do would it. rather get I would, that. I would rather get that. Thank you. Like, you should have said it on some, like, I, I want to butt to you. Not like, like, you, like you're a good person. You're not, you're a, not person. a good person. You and him both. If you look at my standards now and my standards then, that girl did not love herself, first of all. Let's start there. But, and, and now I'm a different person. Now I, you can't, that wasn't even me that you was dating. I never dated, I never dated nobody. Mm -hmm. Me? I never had a boyfriend in my life. Are you shitting me? But, it's ugly as fuck. And I told you that the first day you showed me what he looked like. Listen, if it's one thing about me, from here on out, I'm gonna listen to my friends because every single time my friends have told me something like that, every single time, I start to see like the you I know what I was shocked? colored goggles later. You know what on. I was shocked about? The one that you showed me his picture? Who? That was the most ugliest picture I've seen. That's what she's talking about. It's him? Oh, really? Yes. Oh no. And she showed me what he looked like and I said, I said, if that's what I'm, you I'm, like, I'm, I'm getting pissed off now. Now you're gonna piss me off. Why do pretty women, good looking girls, get with the ugliest guys? I don't know what it is, like, why? Yeah, if it's one thing about ugly ladies, why? if it's one thing about ugly ladies, they're really fucking funny. That was not even that funny. Oh, why? What? Loki wasn't that funny. Like, I think oh. that Loki thing, I carry Loki. Like, I carry, I, I don't know. You carry that whole relationship, what are you talking about? Guys, that's why I have scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> you carry that shit. It's buckling down. You carry it on your back for that amount of time. But for me personally, if it's one thing about ugly ladies, they're usually very funny. Like, as long as you can make me laugh. If you're good looking, like, not to be shallow, but like, if you're a really good looking girl, like, at least put your standards high, like, <laughs> you know? Guys, relationships and heartbreaks, blessings from God to take people out of your life that don't deserve Like, all of the. I honestly don't have trouble when it comes to old relationships. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be heartbroken for a little bit. I'm gonna be a little bit sad that, that I don't have that person in my life anymore because mm -hmm. it's like I got comfortable with you being in my everyday life. Mm -hmm. yeah. However, I know how to be for real. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know how to see that I, there's nothing really that I lost there. Snap back to reality. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I don't be mad sad about it. I just be like, you guys were weird. Yeah. I'm going to move on from it now. <laughs> you guys were very weird, but we're gonna move. 
And I'd be so like, I'd be so like, when I meet like a new friend or like when I have my new friends right now, I'd be like happy about it. I don't be like scared about people gonna do me dirty, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then new relationships, oh girl, I love love. <laughs> that person did not traumatize me enough to stop going for anybody of that culture. I love love, I love <laughs> We gon' try this game. <laughs> uh, sweetie Dali, Dali sweetie, yo. Yeah. Oh my God, I need to do my makeup. I'm not gonna finish my makeup till 9 o'clock if I start right now. Do it now, get your shit. But the thing is, there's nowhere to set up my phone. Layla, you and your excuses, I can literally find a spot for you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make me go into your room. Please don't go in my room actually, because it's really bad in there. I picked up my setting spray. You look like my entire cup of coffee exploded everywhere all over my room floor. I was sitting there scrubbing my makeup palettes. You I was see, so mad. my evil eye, I told you to yeah, stay with us. Yeah, your fucking evil eyes are I told you to stay with us. Yup. 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 <laughs> okay, I finished my hair. I had to finish off camera because it want to run out of storage. Like, even right now, it's timing me. Just breathe. If you like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what you guys want to see from me. Hit the post notification bell down below because YouTube likes to play whenever I post. Stop playing. I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles!